BMW's entry-level M car is far from a beginner, although it's sport compact in size, the first-generation RWD coupe has outsized grunt, in fact it has the same 453 horsepower engine as the M3. For 2023, the M2 begins its second generation with greater capability and updated styling and technology. BMW has suggested this M2 could be the last gas-only model from its M performance division. The M2 has always been a hoot to drive, and it looks like the 2023 will be more of the same. We jumped in a prototype of the new generation model and were impressed by the coupe's great balance and confident handling. There's plenty of power on tap, and both the steering and the chassis were very communicative. In fact, even the brake by wire pedals seem to give us feedback through the seat and steering wheel. Right out of the box, this M2 is an entertaining and accessible track day partner. The exceptionally cool-looking standard front seats are also more comfortable than we expected, and the driving position is near perfect. It remains one of the better premium sport compacts in its class, but BMW says future generations will rewrite the M2's formula with electrification. The 2023 M2 gets a wide, curved rectangular floating screen like the one in the new BMW X that's in fact two displays, one for the gauge cluster and a central infotainment screen. Road, Sport and Track modes are standard on every M2. Road mode places a blue speedometer on the left and a red tachometer on the right of the cluster, Sport mode cranks up the red on the tachometer, and Track mode swaps the graphic speedometer with a digital readout. Track also displays other important information on the left with a digital speedometer in the middle, and displayed in a smaller font than the gear indicator. This mode also turns off the infotainment half of the curved display to limit distraction. Inside, the 2023 BMW M2 retains the driver-oriented layout, while gaining the large curved display from other new BMWs. The seats are also imported from the M3 and M4 standard M Sport seats, optional carbon bucket seats. On the track, the carbon seats hug me nicely with great side support, creating some sort of a cocoon around me. A digital monolith of a screen informs the driver of every bit of data they could possibly need. 12. 3-inch screen behind the steering wheel serves as a reconfigurable gauge display and seamlessly transitions to a larger 14, 9-inch touchscreen that provides access to the M2's iDrive 8 infotainment system. Navigation is standard and a head-up display and 5G connectivity are both optional. The G87 M2 comes with a shorter wheelbase than the M4, but it has the same track width in the front and in the rear. But much bigger than the normal 2 series around 2, 2 inches wider. BMW used the same tires and wheels from the M4, 19 inches in the front with 275-35 mm tires, and 20 inches in the back with 285 mm-30 rubber. There is no additional wheel option for the M2, but you can order the car with the Michelin Sport Cup 2 tires. No word yet on the weight of the car, but the rumor put it somewhere between the current F87 M2 and the G82 M4. The braking system is also inherited from the M3 or M4, but BMW M has no plans to offer a carbon ceramic option at market launch. Carbon fiber roof is also an option for the G87 M2, along with M performance parts. Dirk Hacker BMW M head of engineering, refrained from confirming BMW individual colors for the new M2, but my feeling is that in the future that option will become available. The two prototypes were both delivering around 450 horsepower, regardless of the transmission choice. Speaking of the gearboxes no surprises there, 6-speed manual and an 8-speed automatic. Of course, the gearboxes come with a software tune specific to the M2's driving characteristics, the power is sent to the rear wheels only and there is no MX drive system. The M adaptive suspension is standard in the new 2023 BMW M2, just like they were on the F87 M2 CS. The cooling system not surpassingly, comes from the M3 or M4 as well. Lots of work also went into the steering rack, BMW says they wanted to give the M2 a more agile driving characteristic than in the M3 and M4. 
It uses the same steering rack though, but software tuned for the G87 M2. The 2023 M2 is powered by a BMW's S58 twin turbocharged 3, 0-liter inline 6, which churns out a whopping 453 horsepower and 406 pound-foot of torque. This is the same engine that is standard in M3s and M4s, though here it makes 20 fewer horsepower, its torque output is identical. All M2s are rear-wheel drive, and buyers can choose from either a 6-speed manual or an 8-speed automatic transmission. BMW claims that this powertrain is capable of launching the M2 to 60 miles per hour in as little as 3, 9 seconds when equipped with the optional 8-speed automatic, ordering the standard 6-speed manual transmission will result in a slightly slower 4.1-second result in the same metric, the company says. These estimates are likely conservative as the previous generation M2 competition, which made only 405 horsepower, managed a 3, 9 second 60 miles per hour time at our test track. It wouldn't be an M car without a specially tuned suspension and various other chassis enhancements that help it to be the quickest version of the 2 Series to circle a racetrack. We had a chance to test drive a prototype M2 on a racetrack in Austria, our experience was cut short by heavy rainfall. When we get a chance to test the new model, we'll update this story with driving impressions and test results. The M2 stands out from lesser 2 Series variants with unique exterior features that serve a greater purpose beyond pure aesthetics and help with engine cooling and aerodynamics. The coupe's new frameless grille takes on a horizontal shape, deviating from the larger M3 and M4's prominent vertical kidneys. Below the grille are three-section rectangular lower air intakes designed to keep the powertrain and brakes cool during spirited bouts of driving. The vehicle's rear end also lends a hand in the performance department, with a rear spoiler to generate additional downforce, a racing-inspired diffuser insert in the M's signature quad tailpipes. Other changes include redesigned LED headlights with integrated daytime running lights and turn signals, as well as an optional carbon fiber roof that reduces the M2's weight and improves its center of gravity and handling. Shoppers will be able to choose from five exterior paint colors Alpine White, Black Sapphire Metallic, Brooklyn Gray Metallic, Toronto Red Metallic and Zontfort Blue, which is exclusive to the M2. The sports coupe rides on M-specific light alloy black wheels measuring 19 inches at the front and 20 inches at the rear, a bicolor finish for the wheels will also be available. The 2023 BMW M2 is expected to go on sale in the US in early 2023 with a starting price of $63,195, that's a notable premium over the 2023 2 Series starting price of $38,395 for the base 230i coupe and $49,095 for the higher performance M240i.